Good morning. It is Thursday morning and I am on my way to Amsterdam. So much noise um, because I have a lunch event. I just got myself a little matcha and a cinnamon roll for on the way. such a fun event. I have a little goodie box which I will show you guys when I'm home again. I was supposed to meet a friend for coffee but she is sick so instead I'm just gonna go to a cafe myself and have a little coffee and read my book because I brought it with me. just got back home. I'm going to take off my shoes. I was wearing ballet flats and they have been killing me all day. I have the worst blisters. They look cute but they aren't comfy. Oh my gosh, I'm bleeding. All right, I'm quickly going to put on a sweater too because I've been so cold the entire day. Okay, I promised to show you guys some of the products that I got. Today's event was with LRG Certified and they are a brand from Denmark. Basically they are a label for allergy free products. Today was all about cosmetics, skincare, makeup and allergies, the effect on our skin. So I really learned so much. I have super sensitive skin. I say this all the time. I also struggled with eczema throughout my whole life and it's really just really bad that I don't know what's causing it and I just know that I kind of avoid certain products. I try to be a bit more careful with what I use on my skin but I really have zero knowledge. So I learned so much today and they also gave us a little goodie box when we left and I promise you guys to show some of the products that I got. So let's do that now. First of all we have this bronze balsam. I think this is a conditioner. Yeah a conditioner and a shampoo. I think this is something like a moisturizer from the brand So Kind. I love this packaging. Very cute. Ooh, yeah I really love this packaging and I think it's all just fragrance free because a lot of people are allergic to perfume. Yeah still smells Quite good though. I'm very excited to try this. We have this Apir Calming Serum, vitamin E and B5. Um, also this mascara, it is from Scent Stone. I just ran out of my mascara, so this is perfect timing. Ooh, this is actually very exciting. This is a brand that I used before. This is an SPF. Squalon is the brand, I think. I don't know if I pronounce it right, 
but I have used this before and I absolutely love this. I know a lot about SPF as of today, actually. Then we have this moisturizing mask. I'm excited to try this. This body oil by Derma. I'm curious if I can use this on my face too because I gua sha in the morning and I have been looking for a good oil that isn't like super heavy on my skin. So I don't know if I can use this, but if so, this is perfect. Finally, we have this cleansing gel. Um, so yeah, I am going to have dinner, make dinner, have dinner, and then I'm going to take a bath because I've been cold all day and I just kind of want to warm up and also use some of these products. So yeah, let's have a cozy evening. I just got out of my bath and now I want to try out the mask. Ooh, it's very jelly. A thin layer. It says with pumpkin seed extract and two types of hyaluronic acid, which moisturizes the skin inside out. I'll leave on for 10 minutes and then rinse off. I usually leave on my masks for 30 or 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, it looks very jelly and glowy. I'm going to make myself another cup of tea now. I have been loving Pinterest recently. I've always loved Pinterest, but I've been spending so many hours on Pinterest the past couple of weeks. And I don't know if it's because it's a new season, but I feel extremely inspired and I feel... <laughs> like a different person. I've been getting so many comments on Instagram and on my videos too. You guys saying that I look happier and stuff. I feel that too. I can see that too. I feel like I'm a different person. It's kind of ever since I, it's not ever since I dyed my hair, but since I make my hair a bit more blonde, I feel like a new person. But that's also, I feel I've been feeling like a different person and dyeing my hair was a result of that. And so my style is also changing a lot and I just, I've been so inspired by the things I see on Pinterest and I found so many cool brands. I have so many clothing items on my wish list. Also the interior in my apartment. I just, I have so many things that I want to change. But the thing is, changing your entire interior and changing your entire wardrobe is expensive. So I have to do it step by step. And that's frustrating because I feel like I have a lot of things in my house right now and also in my wardrobe that just, it doesn't really fit with me anymore. And I don't really vibe with it anymore. But yeah, that's just kind of what it is. I, I can't just buy an entire wardrobe. And I also want to be a lot more conscious with the items that I buy. I want to invest in more quality pieces and also I've been I've made the deal with myself that I can only buy clothing from the money that I make from Vinted because I've been selling a lot of clothes on Vinted and I use that money to buy new stuff. So that's kind of my struggle right now but I have my eye on so many good pieces and I just I wish I could order them all at once. I could change my entire wardrobe and I don't even need a lot of pieces, it's just that the pieces that I would like to have are a bit expensive. I have expensive taste too. It's the same with my interior, like I really want a new bed, I want a new bedside tables, I want a new lamps here, I would love a new dining table, dining chairs, I would really like my TV cabinet to go because I absolutely hate that thing. But we're in the process, we're developing. And it's just, I think it's because, I feel like it's because of the new season. I feel like because the days are getting longer, I'm just a lot more energized and I'm also feeling a lot more creatively inspired. And I feel like as a result, I just wanna change a lot of things about myself, my appearance, my house. But anyways, Pinterest is only making it worse because there are so many cute outfits on Pinterest. I get most of my inspiration from, from Pinterest really. Anyways, I can link my Pinterest um, for you guys in the description if you are interested in my page. I absolutely loved the event today. 
but I also noticed that it's a lot for me as an introvert and so I absolutely love this alone time. Taking a bath, having a cup of tea in bed, scrolling on Pinterest at 8.40. I really need that after a day like this and after attending an event, even though I absolutely love it. I love going to these kind of things and meeting new people. Um, but I do need my alone time after to kind of recover from it again because I'm just the biggest introvert.